Ready, Arlen? Hey guys! So today I'm going to show y'all how you can make a design board with a simple frame and um, I'm going to just do like a general chat for a little bit so it gives people time to join. Um, so we can just chat about anything. I was going to just remind y'all that we have this new group called the Stitch Squad. We have a Facebook group. It's really cool, really interactive. All the people are like super positive, like showing like the cutest stuff ever. Um, so it's really good to get like inspiration from other people. Um, I post like maybe once a day kind of the stuff I'm working on, if I'm working on anything. Um, but it's definitely like a group geared towards quilting. So it's called Kimberly's Stitch Squad. It's on Facebook. Um, and then also just wanted to tell you that we also have a YouTube channel. It's Fat Quarter Shop and we would love for you guys to subscribe. We are adding a ton of videos from Just Another Button Company. So they have these like clay buttons that we're going to use today with our little design board. So this is like a little example of some of their stuff, but we're going to be adding that. Um, we've got lots of good videos there. And then I just wanted to mention that we have this new feature on YouTube called Super Chat. So during the, um, like during our live streams, if you want us to see, because basically we're live streaming from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's hard to see all the comments all at once. So if you have a question, just do super chat because then it's like, it's really big for Lily who's behind the camera to see and then she can read me the question. So, um, um Doug Lico is waving at you. Hi Doug, I love you. This is my super fan. So Doug has a company called Antler Quilt Designs. He's got awesome stuff, like lots of books, patterns. So you should check out his stuff if you haven't. I love his stuff because it's like super complicated. And so, and he also pieces a little bit different than the way I normally would, so it's very challenging. So when I want something challenging, I do Doug stuff. So does anybody have any like general questions about anything before we get started? I don't like to start too early because then everybody keeps asking the same questions. Well, cool. everyone's saying hi. Hi. And that they're excited about the tutorial. Awesome, yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, so what we're gonna do, is I just got this frame at Aaron's Brothers, but you can get this at Michael's anywhere. Um, you need something kind of big. The one I have at home is maybe like four or five inches bigger. This one's 16 by 20. Um, but it was the biggest one they had yesterday and I like white, so I just got it because it was the biggest one they had. So just any general frame, it's, it's gonna have glass in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take t open everything up. Um, and of course, it's got these really hard to open things. Does anybody have any questions or anything that I can talk about? Yeah, yeah everyone's saying hello, good morning. Let's see. Well, still got a lot of people joining though. Yeah, we love the, we love that all of you guys are joining us. Sorry it's on a Thursday this week. Um, I'm going to my brother's wedding tomorrow in Puerto Rico. So I will be on a plane tomorrow um, when we normally would have live streamed. So we just moved it to today. And I also want to say, like normally what I'm doing, I would do this outside. And um, when I first did this, I did it outside in my yard, in the grass. Don't do that. I got grass all over my board, but we're doing it inside because today it is like super windy outside. Like if you look at the forecast, we were gonna do it outside on the concrete, which is where like a driveway concrete, that would be great place to do it. Um, but we're doing it upstairs at Fat Quarter Shop. Nobody works up here, so nobody's gonna get chemicals on them, um, but definitely would do this outside. Oh Someone said you're using ginger scissors for that? I know. I shouldn't. I should have done this at home. I would have done this with a um, screwdriver. But also that's one of the reasons, I will say that's one of the reasons that I do live streams at home because everything is like there. I know exactly where everything is. But it, 
it won't ruin them. And also, like, I have like 50, 50 pairs, but yeah, I don't think I'd mess it up, but yeah, I wouldn't do that. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put this on the ground with the brown side up, because that's what we're gonna be putting the batting on. And people are asking what the project is. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna put this aside. We're not gonna use it. So like there's paper, cardboard, we're not gonna use that. And there's glass. We're gonna get rid of the glass. Um, put this aside out of the way. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you how you can make a design board out of like a really simple frame. You can just get this at any store. I have one of these in my sewing room that I display, um, some of my Lori Holt blocks. But you can use a design board, especially when you're doing a block. Sometimes if you're doing a block, you might want to try out different fabrics. So, like if you were making this block and you were just really unsure about the center block, center fabric, you could lay out all your, like you can make all the other pieces, lay it on this design board, and then try out different fabrics in the center. So that's what people usually use them for. Um, I use it more for decoration. Um, so. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to just set the frame part aside and I'm going to use four layers of batting for this. The bottom two are going to be polyester layers and the top two are going to be cotton. And um, I'm using our Happy Cloud Fat Quarter Shop batting and, and I'm using white because I like white, but you could use 80-20, you could use muslin color, you can use black, you can do whatever color you want. I just happen to like white. And the reason I'm doing polyester on the bottom is because when, when I stick my pins in to hold my block up, I want it to have some thickness. And I'm using cotton on the top because it's softer and has a prettier, it's prettier because I want the outside to be pretty. So that's kind of what, what I'm going to do is two polyester, two cotton, and then I'm going to use quilt basting spray. Oops. And I also want to say you should do this outside outside on concrete. That's the best place to do it. Um, it's super windy outside in Texas today. If we were doing it outside, like everything would go everywhere. And don't do it in grass, because the first time I did it in grass, I had grass all over my design board. So what we're gonna do is go to the ground. I put some plastic down. Um, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Um, <clears throat> So this is just the back of the frame that came with it. So it's just a thicker cardboard. And um, I'm gonna try to just talk right now and then I'm just gonna do stuff and then you can ask questions later so I can get these chemicals like out. And we also have a fan going. Um, so that helps with like all the stuff, but definitely do this outside. And even if you were doing it outside, I definitely would do plastic. Um, just because it's gonna get sticky and nasty and you don't want it on your um, concrete. And that's actually why when I did it the first time outside, I did it in the grass because I thought, oh, I won't get you know, anything on my concrete. Well, that was, I got grass on my design board. So, okay. Um, okay. Someone's asking if you got the frame from a resale shop? I got it at uh, Aaron's Brothers Framing, which um, they have them in Austin, and everything is, like, this one was $25 with tax. Uh, so that's where I got it, or Michael's. Um, I was kind of in a hurry yesterday. I um, had, like, a ton of, like, kids stuff to do, so I just, like, picked something up. But this is actually the same one that I have at my house, except the one I have at my house is bigger, but they didn't have any in stock. So I'll probably just use this one at my house on, like, a smaller wall or at work or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna do it real quick. I'm not gonna talk much because I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible. So I'm using a basting spray. You can get this um, like at Joann's or any kind of regular store. We actually don't sell it because it is against the law to mail, we found out, or something like that because it's combustible. So we used to sell it and then we had to stop. So basically the premise is spray, Put your batting down, flatten, spray, put your batting down, flatten. And I'm just going to go for it and not talk so I can do it really fast.
You just want it to be as flat as possible. I'm gonna kind of move this back so I kind of know where the board is so I'm less likely to get it wrinkled. We did have a question um, before the live stream yep. that was, um, where can they find the Lori Holt patterns that were on your original? Oh, set? on our website, if you search Lori Holt PDF, um, they're there and they're actually 20% off this month because they are the, they're on sale this month uh, as our pattern of the month. So that's where you can find them. And I have them up because actually Lori made me all of those and I love Lori. So I have them up just to like have her in my studio and like, yeah, I love Lori. So, so put the two poly down. Now I'm gonna do the cotton. And you really want it to be flat. Can you remind everyone what you're making? Yeah. Got people ready to in. So what we're making today is a design board to put your blocks on. So I've got four layers of batting. We'll go over here. Give me one second. So what we're making a design board is a design board. I basically just got a frame. This is 16 by 20. I would normally do something bigger, but I like white and this was the biggest one the frame store had yesterday. I think the one I have at home is 20 by 24. So it's just a little bit bigger. So what I did was I got basting spray. This is the back of the frame that came with it. I put two layers of polyester and one layer of cotton. And you can tell it's not 100% down, it's totally fine. So now what we're gonna do, use our rotary cutter and we're gonna cut around the edge. So I'm just gonna cut um, right on the edge of the cardboard. And it's gonna be hard because it's thick. Someone's asking how long does it take for the glue to dry? Oh, it's already dry. It's already dry. It's super fast. That's why when I was doing it, I was smoothing it out really fast because it dries, dries super fast. And someone else is asking what kind of cotton? Brushes cotton? I used um, Happy Cloud. The first two I used polyester, 100% polyester on the bottom two. And the top two I used 100% cotton. And the reason I did that is it's super thick um, and I'm going to use pins to hold my blocks on. You don't have to use pins, but I like to for decoration and it's going to fit in there really nicely. And if you just had like one batting, it's not going to work. So, so I've got all the layers and then I'm going to iron it um, so that it's nice and flat and pretty before we put it in like a little crease we're gonna get that crease out oh, someone said I hope you have a window open yeah we don't um, we should but we are improvising because it is super windy in Texas. Like if you walk outside, your hair is just like crazy. Super windy, but we're in this huge room. Like there's a fan going and I barely used any spray. I used less than I normally would and you can't even smell it. But yeah, do this outside on your concrete with plastic, not inside, but we're improvising. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be on a plane to Puerto Rico. So I had to kind of do it today. Um, we've had a few questions about the iron. Okay, so this is a Panasonic 
iron. It's actually super popular. I don't have one, but we use it in filming. What people like about it is, it is um, a travel iron. So there is, this plug will actually go inside. There's a, there's a lid for it and it stays hot when you pull it off. So people like it for retreats and things like that. So now all we do is put your bat, put this in. Check it on the front to make sure. That it's centered and then you just put this back. got a few questions about what kind of glue did you use I used a quilt adhesive um, it's called like basting spray so um, this is how it's gonna look Let me just tuck that in it's just a basting spray there's a ton on the market there's probably like 10 different versions of it I got it at Joann's the one that I'm using today is June Taylor um, so um, you can get it at any store we don't sell it because you're not supposed to ship it so we don't sell it anymore. So what I would do with this is like put a really pretty block, oops. And then I would use my Just Another Button Company handmade pins and I would kind of pin this in um, just for decoration. But you can see that it's gonna stand up on its own. And what a lot of people use these for is um, testing their fabric. So say that you're making a block and you really like these fabrics, but you're really not sure about the center. You could lay out your units all on the thing and then leave this one out and then you could cut, this is a four and a half inch square, so you could cut like three or four or four and a half inch squares and just put them there. And then you can see what it looks like before you sew it together. This is our block one from our Designer Mystery 2018, if anybody's wondering. Um, so that's what this block is. And, um, Remember to, if you have any questions, put them on Super Chat and definitely join um, our Kimberly Stitch Squad on Facebook and sign up for a YouTube channel. Um, and then definitely send in ideas of what you wanna see. Somebody sent me an idea yesterday. So I have a little pad of paper, I write it down and then um, just kinda do them as I can. I'm trying to do something every Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Some weeks it'll be Thursday because of my busy schedule but um we love all the questions so what other questions do y'all have well we've got actually um kind of a request for a video i don't know if we could do this as a live stream but um kathy on youtube is asking a uh, general question as a beginner can you do a tutorial for beginners on preparing backing fabric when you have to piece it together to make the entire back yeah i could definitely do that um so maybe next time when i have a quilt sewn together and i need to prepare back we can do it it does get super complicated because you've got like humongous pieces but definitely and i have lots of tips on how you can do backing i know it's going to have like a million questions but we can do that yeah i'll write it down for sure um because i do it a little bit different than everybody um so i know that it might be a little controversial the way that i do it because i don't do it the way the book says to do it but I'm kind of a creature of habit and I learned how to do it a certain way like 20 years ago and I just do it that way and sometimes I've been at retreats and people are like what are you doing that's not the way you do it you're supposed to press open you're supposed to use a half inch seam I don't do any of that and it's okay like I still have made like hundreds of quilts that way so I'll show you definitely show you the way I do it and I will tell you the way that you're supposed to do it so uh, we've got lots of people wondering what super chat is okay do you want to tell them Lily come over here and tell them <laughs> oh dear Okay, so this is Lily. She's our videographer and she knows all the tech stuff because I don't. So um, she's gonna tell you. Okay. Hi everyone. Super Chat um, is if you're on YouTube, there should be an option on your comments where you can comment on it. Um, and then um, if you click Super Chat, um, it'll ask you for like a certain amount that you can like put in. It's like a virtual tip jar for us. Um, but basically what it does is it like highlights your question and then that way we know like you really want your question answered or we'll have your comment read out loud. We can do a shout out to you. Um, it's just an easier way for us to see what you're commenting. Yeah, cause like, like I said earlier, like we have my phone going and that is the Instagram and then we've got a camera going, but that is for, 
uh, Facebook and YouTube. And so like Lily has one computer down there and she's like trying to like uh, all three channels try to read what y'all are saying. So we're trying to do the super chat so it's easier for her. Because I do know at the end of the videos we go back through. Lily, actually Lily does it. She goes back through and sees what video, what questions we didn't answer. Then she sends me an email and says, okay, answer these. Because we can't get to all of them because we can't see them all. So. All right. And we did have a question earlier asking where are we? As in where are we filming? Okay, so we are filming upstairs at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, nobody offices up here. We film up here in like a room way over there, but it's like open and it's just kind of like an area where eventually we will have offices, um, but it's just kind of a big open area. And like I said, we normally would film outside, but it's just too windy. So when I did the spray, I actually put less spray than I normally would have. I probably would have done more. Um, but just for safety, I did less. And we've got a lot of people asking, what is that block? Where can I get that block? So this block is Designer Mystery 2018. So do you want to grab the quilt? I don't know what sure. it is. Uh, it's in the filming room. Yeah, okay. So I'll tell you about Designer Mystery. So 11 years ago, I'm always trying to think at Fat Quarter Shop of like, what can we do different? What can we provide to our customers? So I thought of this program 11 years ago. It's always used mode of fabrics and it's, the, the idea that I based it off of was how to do, you know if you go in a quilt shop every, once a month, every Saturday on a certain day, you get a $5 block or $10 block or whatever. And that was really popular like 15 years ago. So I was trying to think of a way that we could um, come up with that for our customers. So what we do is we got, we get 12 Moda designers put together blocks and they're a mystery. And you can sign up for it three ways. And the reason we did that is because some people don't wanna spend a ton of money. So we have an option where you can just get a block every month and then you can put it together however you want. We also have a finishing kit that has like the borders, the binding and all the setting around the blocks and that's if you want to spend a little bit more money and then we also have the backing set which is this beautiful green if you want that and so it's kind of it's it's different than a quilt kit in that if you just want to spend a little bit of money if you're on like a lighter budget maybe one year you're on a bigger budget it just gives my customers a lot of options and it's something similar to what a brick and mortar would do and we we always try to pick what's well, always moda it's always been Moda, um, it always will be Moda, but we try to different fabrics. So like one year it might be pinks and aquas, one year it might be um, fig tree. So we try, we, we never do anything too traditional because that's not as popular as it used to be. So we try to do something like fresh, modern, something that would appeal to both young and old. And um, so this year the setting was put together by Joanna, Joanna Figueroa of Fig Tree Quilts. She also designed this block. So I'm gonna give you like a little peek. So the border has, I'm gonna try to like not, cause I don't wanna get complaints. So this is like a spoiler alert. If you don't wanna see anything, don't watch. So the border has beautiful stars. I'm gonna, and this is the binding, which I always love a um, bias stripe, um, but this is actually piece on the straight so you get the biased look without all the work so i love that i'm going to try to show you just the corner of the quilt with just one block but so that i don't spoil it so so this is like the top left of the quilt and you can see there's beautiful stars all the way around and then there's this beautiful kind of like tulipy block and there's a couple of these and that comes in the finishing kit. So this is the block and this is the block and we actually have a tutorial that's gonna be coming out on how you can make this block. It of course doesn't have the cutting because you have to be a member to, um, to get it. And I will say that every year we ship around June 10th. Maybe we have at that time 100 memberships, say. By June 20th, we will be out because everyone puts it on social media. People take it to their groups and their groups, like, you know, sewing groups that everybody has, like in their neighborhood or their bees or whatever. And then people are like, oh my God, I got to do it. So then 12 people from the same state will sign up or from the same city. 
So it does sell out. I'm not trying to like sell you anything. I'm just telling you that like it will sell out and I don't I'm not trying to definitely sell you anything. I'm just trying to be like super honest that it will sell out. Um, but yeah, I love it. And each of the blocks has this four and a half inch square in the center with the same fabric, which ties to the stars. And I really like that. We try to do that some of the years so that we want all of it to tie together, even if you don't use our finishing. So because they, even if you don't use our finishing and you just get the blocks, all your blocks are gonna tie together with this. And that's, so we always try to really put a lot of time and effort and design behind it. And we have 12 wonderful motor designers who designed us the blocks. And each month it'll tell you like who they are, um, what their website is, all that stuff. Right, we've got um, a request for a live stream or a video. Um, Lisa on Facebook is asking, can you tutorial the jelly roll rug? Yes, we are working on it, actually. So I'm gonna be totally honest. Cody's working on it, not me. So she's working on it, she's testing, um, she's testing it to find out the best techniques. We are gonna do a live stream, it's probably gonna be in two weeks. And last night, Jelly Roll Rug 2 came out. It is supposed to be a simpler version of Jelly Roll 1. It's more straight strips instead of going in a circle. It's straight. So we have that ordered. Um, we should have that in stock probably in two weeks. It's not out yet, but we are gonna try to get the PDF today so that you can have the PDF um, live probably this weekend. I just have to get with the lady um, who designed it to get that. But yeah, we're definitely working on it. It's just kind of one of those things where we were waiting to find the exact, like um, use batting in it. And the first batting we tried didn't work. So we found a better one. And now that's out of stock with the manufacturer, of course. But we're also just trying to finish it. I will say it's very like labor intensive, um, but we're definitely, that's on the list. We're just, next week we can't do it because we're gonna have a guest. Um, Amanda Herring's gonna be here and we're gonna do a live stream with her. So it'll be the week after. And another sort of request is, can you do a live stream on domestic machine quilting? Oh my goodness, no. Um, I, we are gonna maybe do that with like a like a live stream but with someone else doing it because i am not good at that and if i tried to teach you something that i don't do that would be like false advertising so yeah we're gonna do some stuff with that and um, we do have some videos from vanessa gertson on our youtube channel where she did some really cool stippling straight line quilting so if you want something in the meantime those are two really good videos um but yeah, they're Layla Boutique, Vanessa Gertson, and it's free motion and straight line. So she, so we have some of those. All right. And then on Instagram, um, Quilts for Kisses is asking, can you use your own stash for the mystery quilt? You can't. Um, so the pattern is only available. What it, so if you sign up, you get the block and the fabric for the block. So you can only get the pattern if you're in the program. So it's totally exclusive to the program. At the end of the year, like in 2019, in July of 2019, we will sell the complete pattern set, um, but that's like a long time away. And we had a question earlier about the frame. Someone was asking if you could like paint the frame before you do it. Oh, you totally could. So like Lori Holt, she does, like what she will do is she will buy most of her stuff from a resale shop, like somebody was talking about. She'll paint it and then she'll do it. It's just, um, yeah, I don't paint very good. If I painted it, y'all would be like, oh my gosh, that's like horrible. Um, but yeah, you totally could. I mean, it's just a simple, um, yeah, and I just like white. I like everything very plain. My house is like very plain. Um, so yeah, I just did white, but yeah, you totally could paint it. Um, and then someone's asking, where can you go if you need help with the mystery block? Oh, you can just email us. So we do have people that email us and um, we write the patterns ourselves. They're full color. Um, we're very familiar with them. I made the quilts, I make the patterns. So yeah, you just email us and we always answer the same day. I mean, if it's Monday through Friday. Um, so yeah, you just email us. And they're super, this year I would say it's very beginner, maybe a little intermediate, but I would say more beginner. Some years it could be more advanced, but super easy. Super, super easy. Um, somebody else is asking what the, what the wall color is. Oh, I don't know. Lily will look it up and email you later. 
because we have the paint somewhere, but I don't know where, so she'll have to find it. But it's a similar aqua to the one in my house. The one in my house was, we posted that somewhere, so I don't know, Lily will try to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I love aqua, so. Um, someone on Instagram was asking, do you have any more collaborations with Lori Holt in the works? We do, we have lots. Um, she is, yeah, a lot, yeah. A book, yeah. So yeah, definitely a book is in the works. She's sewing it right now. Um, the book is already written. It is um, kind of in the proofing stages. I actually spent last weekend at a dance convention on the floor proofing the entire book just to kind of like that first draft. Um, so yeah, definitely. And like, yeah, for sure, like always. She's awesome. Um, we have a question. Do we have any plans coming up to do any small pouches? Yeah, I mean, the funny thing, I will just be like so honest. The funny thing is y'all want bags. Y'all know, like, if y'all know me, I don't make bags. I make quilts. I don't know how to make bags. So I did make the little scrappy patch bag and we're, of course, out of the two and a half inch grid because the company moved and they have, I ordered like 10 bolts of it like a month ago. So that's coming back in stock. But yeah, we're, so basically, I'm just gonna give props to all my employees. We are working on pouches. They're working on ideas. And um, we do have some cute bags that we did with Vanessa Gertson and by Annie, Annie Ungren. Um, we did some, I think we did a cute bag with Sherry McConnell. So we have some bags on our channel, but we are working on some more. But I find it super hilarious that y'all want bags. Like, because I'm like, okay, the one thing y'all are gonna ask for is something that I totally don't do. And I will work on like, just coming up with some cute little bag ideas. Um, like basically the scrap patch, I basically had an extra day and was like, oh, I'm just gonna make something up. So yeah, we'll definitely do some little bags. Um, question about the design board. Can it be covered with muslin? I don't know. Like if you did muslin, you're, you could, I mean, you could do anything you want to do. But when you do it, the batting holds this up. So see, it just like kind of holds it. But if you put just fabric, I think you would have to pin it. And then if you pinned it, it's gonna go to your cardboard. So, and that's why I have mine super puffy. And you can see it's kind of puffy now. You don't have to put as many layers. I just like it puffy because I use it, um, I actually use the pins because I like them and they're cute and I like everything to be super cute. But um, I wouldn't do muslin if it was me. I wouldn't. But you can do it if you want. Um, very funny comment. Someone apparently came in late and thought there was glass on there and then you just pinned it on. So oh, what? yeah, no, no, no. So I have the glass like separate and I know like probably y'all want to know what I do with it. Honestly, I don't even know what I did with my last one. I think it's sitting in my garage. Um, waiting for the day that we have recycling. We have like a, yeah. Um, so. Question on YouTube, any videos or suggestions on starting your own Etsy shop? Oh my goodness, I don't, um, we have a little Etsy shop. It's super easy to like add products. I will say that I've done it. Um, Cause we sell some of the Lori Holt stuff on Etsy and some cross stitch stuff because we're not like a cross stitch shop, but we have a lot of cross stitch supplies. So we put that on Etsy cause that's kind of where you go for it. I would say it's super easy to set up. I mean, it's just a lot of fees, but even if you have a website, you're gonna have a lot of fees. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I think with Etsy, I love Etsy. I think the biggest thing if you were going to do an Etsy shop is to figure out how to get people to follow your shop and you know, click, Click, click you as a favorite shop because I actually shop on Etsy all the time for cross stitch because I love cross stitch. Um, so when I go there, I look at what my shops have added. So I thought my biggest advice would be figure out a way to become on people's radar because that's how I view Etsy. Because there's so much stuff on there. If you just type cross stitch or Lori Hold, you're just gonna get like a million things. So yeah, that would be my advice. And I don't know that much about Etsy, so. Cool, and then we've got a question. Do we have any more, um, they said simple videos, like the Jelly Roll Jam, I think they mean like our shortcut quilts. Oh yeah, so like we have a series called Shortcut Quilts, and there's a, if you go to our YouTube channel, we have, uh, what are those things called? Lily? A playlist. A playlist, and so we've got a playlist for shortcut quilts, and those are meant to be something that is super easy, can be made in a weekend, and uses a pre-cut. 
So we have some that do fat quarters, some that use jelly rolls, some that use layer cakes, and charm packs. So our number one video by far is Jelly Roll Jam. Number two, Jelly Roll Jam 2. And then we have some other Jelly Roll videos. So if you go there, that's like super cute weekend. And you can make them bigger on our blog. We have some of them where we've transitioned them into bigger sizes. And if you have trouble finding that, you can just email us and we can help you. But yeah, I would say definitely on YouTube, we have a ton of, yeah, you can just do Fat Quarter Shop Shortcut Quilts. Um, we've got a few people on YouTube um, saying that they would love to see a mini quilt club with more modern quilts. Okay. Um, and then we've got a request for, um, since you love cutting so much, can you do a live stream with like cutting tips for fabric? Oh, I could do it. I could so do that. Just, can you remind me to write that down? Yes. Yeah, no, I could totally do that. And I could cut all day. Like I, if I could, like if I had a factory, right? Like if we just had like a dream world and there was like a factory and we were gonna make quilts, I would just cut. I would never sew. I would just like cut and iron. Like sewing, I'm just like, oh, uh, whatever. But I love to cut. So yeah, I totally could, um, yeah. Um, and someone's asking if it's too late to join the designer mystery. With no, it starts June 10th. You can sign up, um, yeah. Definitely. That's why we're showing it today. Um, we did a video yesterday on how to make block one just so everybody could see the beautiful fabrics. And so when we were doing the design board, I was like, oh, I need a block to put on it. And it was there. So. All right. And someone's asking, I saw some of your completed quilts for, sa for sale on eBay or something before. Do you oh, still have them? They're all gone. So basically the story behind that is I was moving and I wanted some furniture. So I was like, I need to make this amount of money so that I can get a couch. So I did that, but I still have tons and pro I purged because I really don't like a lot of stuff. So I mean, maybe like in a year or two, I'll sell some more, but not right now. I was just doing that to like, I didn't want to move everything and I wanted a new couch. Let me see here if there's any comments I've missed. Um, cutting tips, yeah, lots of people asking for cutting tips. Okay. Um, let's see, on Facebook. Someone's asking if we have a brick and mortar shop. We don't. Um, my philosophy really is that if you want to do an internet store, you can do that really well because you focus on one thing. If you do brick and, mortar, brick and mortar, you can do that really well. I just don't think we could do both really well. I think if we branched out into brick and mortar, it would hurt our online sales. And I also have four kids and I work a lot. And I basically have zero time to myself, so I don't even know, like, I would have no time to do it. Okay, so. and um, we've still got a lot of comments coming in. Um, we're kind of about 40 minutes in, so do you just want to take, like, one more question? And then... Sure. Okay. Um, someone's asking, do you ever do pieced borders? Yeah, sometimes, like, our Aunt Grace, uh, we have an Aunt Grace basket of scraps. We've done that as a piece border. This is a piece border um, right here. This is a piece border. Um, basically, it has an inner border, and then the middle border is pieced, and the outer border is um, just a straight piece. And I would say the biggest thing for me is if you're doing a piece border, um, I prefer to have a solid piece on the outside so that when you're, when you're, when it's, um, I guess when you're quilting or adding your binding, your seams don't open. And I will say one thing that I do that people is like a big no-no is I actually, when I do borders and attach borders, I backstitch when I start and then I stop because this is like the very edge of your quilt and a lot of people are gonna touch it and I just don't want that to come undone. And I know people don't usually do that, but I do do that. So if I was doing a piece border, I would prefer it had a, um, just an outer border so it's less likely to come apart. And then if y'all want, just ask more questions um, if you watch this. So the video will be available on Instagram for 24 hours, be on Facebook forever. Join our Kimberly Stitch Squad, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'm on the Kimberly Stitch Squad all the time. So if you have questions, I'm the one answering. When it says Fat Quarter Shop, it's me. And like this week, I will just give you an example. Somebody asked for paper that you use to quilt on. And um, I asked like Checker, what is their best selling one? So we're looking into like if we should carry that. So 
If you ask comments, I'm actually the one reading. If you want us to sell a certain product, you can put it on there. Um, so if that's if you want to interact with me, that is like the best way is to join Kimberly Stitch Squad. Um, and definitely all your comments, I'm keeping notes. Like I said, I can't do everything. I don't know how to, I can straight line quilt all day, but I cannot free motion quilt. I have no interest in learning. So like, there's some stuff I'm not gonna be able to show you, but I can like take you to someone who can, and I can stand there and just be like, oh, she's gonna show you. So yeah. So definitely interact with me that way. And definitely, um, I like all the like positivity in the group. I wanna keep it that way. Um, Everyone is like super supportive of each other and I love seeing all the quilts. So if you have any more questions, just comment on one of the videos and then we will get back to you.